explain your priority of de-obligation of funds and right. why it's so important? So it's tied to the contract administration shift, right? Um, the Army has, uh, I think at one point, one of the estimates was upwards of $4 billion in, in unliquidated obligations across multiple fiscal years. Now, I don't know if that estimate is exactly right, but any way you cut it, it's a lot of money. And if you're in a constrained environment and you got $4 billion that are out there unliquidated on contracts that are past their performance period, you ought to get after trying to return it back to the Army. And so it's, it's purely an efficiency move to return uh, resources back to the Army so that the Army can use it for readiness and modernization. And so w that is exactly why we're going after ULOs. The tradition across Army contracting has been you chase some ULOs in the fourth quarter, they're nice to do, they feel good, there may be one fiscal year. We're, we're going to consistently get after this for the entire fiscal year to try to return this money back to the Army. Can you tell me a little bit about strategic sourcing? I know it's important as well. Right. So, you know, along with the discussion on efficiencies, the Army is actually looking at its entire contract spend, right? So if you uh, take, let's take computer buys or dining facilities or um, various services uh, across the Army, they're done in little pockets all over the place, right? And so by its very nature, if you think about it as a taxpayer, you may be paying one price at this base and one price at this base. And there might be a reason for that. But there also might be a reason for it to be on one competed source that strategically the Army can put in place for everybody to use, and it's more efficient. Uh, more efficient in the, the, the resources that are put against it and potentially more efficient in the resources you put to manage that strategic source. And so, um, you know, the one that jumps into everybody's head as a best example is, is log cap, right? Um, log cap fills a gap for the Army and its uh, logistics capability. We use it, we, we've traditionally used it in uh, operations, but you see us using it for planning, um, disaster relief, and some other things that uh, allows us to do quick turns uh, to, to fill a need real quick. We just recently used it in, in uh, Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, it was very successful. Um, from ACC's perspective, we had people that were already trained on how to do uh, the administration of that contract, and they went down and they did it. Um, so from a training and doctrine perspective, from Army Contracting Command's, you know, from my, my view, um, that becomes a, a way of, hey, you execute the contract and you already got people that know how to administer it, and boom, they fall in on it. And so my, my shift on contract admin is also tied to the, the administration of, of these strategic sources because you can train to a standard for ACO quality and property that you do across all these. Log caps one, we have Amcom Express down at RSA, we have RS3 down at, at uh, one of the other centers. And so um, if you can administer one, in theory, you could administer them you know, uh, across the board um, and bring efficiencies to the Army. Um, one, of the, one of the other things we need to do, and, and this is the next, I think one of the next steps, is um, how do you control access to them, right? Because strategic sourcing you know, can become what General Perna would call the easy button, right? Oh, we'll just throw it on a contract. But it's got to be appropriate, and, so, and it's got to be managed. And so we need to make sure that there's some way of, of um, controlling access to that contract and in making sure that the right things make it to the contract. And it's not just, hey, throw it over the fence. It goes on a contract that the scope was this, but now you've added it outside of the scope, but it was just kind of an easy thing to do. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. And so, um, so we ought to control that appropriately.